What's up guys? So, Kelly Ryan behind me. We got the parts for it still, just haven't got it fixed yet. But um, we're gonna put the corn head on our chopper, the FP230, and just go green chop a load every day to add to the cow mix. All right, we got the hay head unhooked, and now we're gonna go hook up the corn head. All right, got the hay head took off here. Oh, put a hole in that pallet. <laughs> Going chopping with the bobcat. That'd be something. Those wood blocks are right there. All right, guys, we got the corn head out the stands are missing from it so put these blocks under there to hopefully get it hooked up to the chopper at least but we're gonna have to grease this and oil the chains and then we're gonna go take it for its test run oh we gotta adjust this part too here well guys got the head on greased it now to put some oil on there. Oh, and we'll have to take the dual off. Been a while. Smells off.
so good. Way too wet though. But it loads a lot better than Haylage. Putting on it putting it on like a cologne. So guys, we're gonna be cutting some corn stalks down. We're gonna get five from each field. We have four different ones that we're gonna get from. We have our later planted stuff that I'm gonna get right now. And then we have some DeKalb and some FS corn. And then um, some Jung's corn at one of our farms that we're renting. So and we're gonna get five samples of each and then we're gonna go test the moisture each because corn salad is coming up. So yeah, I'm gonna go cut five good stalks and then bundle them up together and then we're gonna test them all for what their moisture is. So this is the field we've been chopping from our later planted corn. We got five stalks cut up here. We're gonna tie them up and put the little slip in there so we know what it is. All right, this row is the DeKalb corn and wow, that's some pretty tall corn. All right, this third row is the FS corn and our last corn is the Jungs here and it's got it's pretty dry. I think it has that tar spot really bad. The other stuff, not so much, but yeah, it's pretty dry. So I guess maybe we're gonna be starting over here. So we just got back from uh, testing that corn for the moisture and should be another week yet, um, like this time next week and we should be going, uh, it sounds like. Um, the later planted corn here tested 76% moisture, the DeKalb corn tested 76, the FS was 73 and uh, the field down the road that we rented. Uh, Young's, Jung's, one of those, whatever it's called, um, that tested at 71, but that had the tar spot in it really bad, so it really dried. Maybe they didn't spray it with the fungicide, I don't, we don't know, maybe they forgot, but, or they just missed that, those couple rows I did, I don't know, but yeah, so another week or so, we should be full swing of corn silage. We got um, a couple bags Grandpa just bought, and uh, a pile of plastic cover when he just bought two. So we're going to try to do a little pile as well and see how that goes. So yeah, we're going to get that unloaded here. I sure do like how much uh, corn silage unloads. Way better than hay silage. So I gotta clean this back window, you guys can barely see.
stuff smells good. Corn salad has to be my favorite smell on the farm. Oh man. That stuff smells good. Alright, we're gonna talk good enough. We'll be using this wagon again tomorrow. So guys, this weekend is supposed to rain, so we're gonna do three loads to hopefully get us through the weekend and hope we don't get too much rain. But whatever the weather brings, it brings. But we didn't fill the badger too full. This corn side is so wet and heavy, it's gonna blow a tire if we fill them all the way full. So Bob was gonna fill one more. This is load number two. And yeah, just dump it on the ground and a little bit the cow mixes until we're really ready to start chopping. I think I already said that at the beginning, but I'll say it again. <laughs> 